Hello everyone, I am Madhulika and I welcome you all to my channel Uncomplicate with Madhulika. In today's video, we are going to learn how to enroll students to a course in Moodle using the self-registration method. Now self-registration as the word suggests means that the students themselves can enroll into a course. But to do so, the teacher or the course administrator has to enable the option of self-registration. I am going to explain the process for both, that is the teacher and the student. So I request you to watch the video till the end. Alright, so I have logged into my Moodle site and I am on site home. Let's go to site administration. Now to enable self-registration, first we go to plugins. Now we go to Authentication. Here we click on Manage Authentication. So we see that the email based self registration in this the eye is closed that is it is disabled. So enable it by opening the eye. Once we do that we can see that we have this option self registration. Right now it is disabled. Click on the drop down menu and select email based self registration. See underneath this option we also have an explanation. If an authentication plugin such as email based self registration is selected then it enables potential users to register themselves and create accounts. By default this was disabled to avoid the possibility of spammers but we have allowed it since we want students to register themselves. Click on save changes. Now this was step one of the self registration. We now go to our course by selecting the short name. Now select the participants. Click on the downward facing arrow next to the gear icon. Click on enrollment methods. Here again we see self enrollment. The eye is closed at the moment. So enable it by opening the eye and clicking on it. So now we have enabled self registration. Now let's see what has to be done at the student's end. Okay, so now we have opened the URL. So now when the student reaches your URL, they have to click on login. Now since we have enabled self registration, we get this message. This was not available earlier because self registration was disabled. So we see this message, is this your first time here? Here we select create a new account. The student now has to fill the details. Click on create new account. The student gets this message that an email should have been sent to your email address. And let's click on continue. Now the student has received an email. Let's click on that. This is for the confirmation of the account. So let's confirm.
So now the student's registration is confirmed. Click on continue. And this is the dashboard of the student. Now let's go to site home and check if the course is available to the student. Yes, it is available and it's showing on the site home page. Let's click on the course. Now you see, this is an important option, enroll me. If this is not done, then the student will not be visible to the teacher in the list of participants. So click on enroll me. Now the student is enrolled in the course. Let's check this. Let's go to the course short name tab. Click on participants. And now the student who self registered in the course is visible to the teacher. So that's it. The student is now enrolled to the course using the self registration method. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you've liked it, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions or feedback, please write to me in the comment section below.